Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Giovanni X, and you rocking with the Den. Let's go. From a little place called Detroit, Michigan, you know. But I came down to Miami a little later in life. But yeah, man, I'm from the D. Been repping South Florida, you know how it goes. <laughs> the story behind my name, well, my name, my real name is Landon, for those who don't know. What's up, everybody? World, I'm Landon. Uh, but my middle name is Giovanni, right? With an A. And I kind of just changed it around for Instagram. Like, it was just an Instagram thing when Instagram first popped up. And I just put Giovanni X as my Instagram name and then I was in high school and like this group of Jewish kids would just scream my name like yo Giovanni X like before I knew who X and Thacian was no disrespect they were doing this in the hallway like Giovanni X Giovanni and I was like yo I gotta change my name to Giovanni X like that's it this is fire like <laughs> and then I just end up changing it because they were like screaming it and fan like being fans so hard in high school and I was like yeah I gotta change it for sure I don't regret doing it, but I had so many fans as my other name. Like, it was crazy. Making the switch, like, I lost fans. I had to regain them. It was crazy, man. I guess I'm a rapper, but I wouldn't say I'm just a rapper, though. I can rap, you know? Um, but I do make all kinds of music. Alternative rock, or alternative hip-hop, R&B, whatever it is. I'm myself. I feel like there's no one like me, you know? Um, not to bring anybody else into the picture, but to describe me, I would just say... I never, you know, it's crazy. I never talk about myself. It's so weird. It's so weird. I never talk about myself because, like, I just find it so awkward. I'm too busy being myself to describe myself. So, like, that's a question I should be asking you. Like, what do you see, like, when Giovanni X? Like, what do you, who do you think I am? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what I leave up for the people. And that's why I make music because I kind of know. Well, not, I kind of, well, nobody really knows who they are, but I, <laughs> I know who I am. Most of the time. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of leave it up to the people to decipher who they want to see or what they want to get from me. You know, I tried to tap into it, but, I mean, rapping is definitely one of those things. I was kind of born into it. Um, well, not kind of. I was born into it. My grandfather, I explain this all the time, but my grandfather was a drummer on Willsville, USA in Motown. So, like, back in those days, he was already with Aretha Franklin, like, touring around the world with her as a drummer. And then my mom which is his daughter, was a singer as well. And then that's how she met my dad. She was a backup singer, and my dad is an artist as well. So I was kind of made out of, like, music passion, you know? And then I'm here. I kind of got the generation of, you know, rap. I probably would be a singer or some shit back in the day, but, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So, um, but to be clear, um, so with all that, you know, my brother and sister were, like, one day recording in the room, like before school and shit, they had like this old boom box. Like, and then you could like record over tapes and shit. So like, <laughs> so they're recording over one of the tapes and I would hear it. They wouldn't let me in the room. I'm like, man, I want to go in there. And then they finally went to school and I'm young. I'm like four years old or something. So they wouldn't let me in the room. So when they left, I stayed home. And then I went in there and like tried to rap like them over a tape. And they are so tight, but they always remember that first rap that I ever like <laughs> freestyled over that little tape. It was pretty fire. My sister used to like pick out my clothes as a kid and like she was the cool one in school. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was my sister is popular in school. So I'll have her pick out my clothes like in elementary and shit. She was in high school. And then I don't know. I just I just always loved it from there. You know, like I hate it. I hate it. Um not looking right like if i go to the grocery store i gotta be fully dressed like you know what i'm saying but i'm not even super into like name brands and like da 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 like i just like what i like if it looks good on me then it's a vibe you know what i'm saying like these aren't these aren't name brand these are like fucking i got these off a movie set like you know what i'm saying so these are prop glasses that i just so happen to grab i kind of just make merch to to tell about the lifestyle you know the society spelled with three eyes that's why it's like three guys on here um it stands for like uh like commutative action and not being alone in thought and not being alone in like in general you know what i'm saying like we we are a community as a as artists and throughout artistry we are we are a community so we have to share this community and that's what it's kind of about like we have to share this society you know i try to do something to like at least put my taste on what south florida already offers because there's so many great people doing their thing already and like really doing something dope out here and um i just kind of you know being from somewhere else i never got that chance to like 
be here and like prove myself to South Florida as like like growing. You know what I'm saying? Like growing up here or something like that. So I had to make my mark and and do something that can also put people on as well. And a lot of people, you know, journeys started at my events and it, and it feels so amazing to say that but yeah so it's not really a clothing line but it's just the lifestyle that we put on clothes it just so happens to be on clothes for sure yes yes it's always so random too like dennis Rodman, i was in la right and i was looking at a like my hair was green right this was la 2019 october right it was like two weeks before Halloween, and then I'm looking at pictures of Dennis Rodman, and I, and I'm with my homie Zy, right? And I'm looking at pictures of Dennis Rodman, and he's spraying David Letterman's hair green, right? And my hair is green, his hair is green, and I'm like, bro, you know it'd be crazy. I was like, I like Dennis Rodman, bro. Like I feel like Dennis Rodman too. Like literally, I said those words. Like I feel like Dennis Rodman too, and I was like, you know it'd be crazy if Halloween I wore a wedding dress like him, and I was like, you know it'd be crazier if I wore it in a video. And I was like, how am I worried in the video? I need a fucking song called Dennis Rodman. And that same day, in like 30 minutes, I made the song Dennis Rodman. And like, I did the video like in the next three days. So like, uh, my guy R.A.R.C. out in L.A. pulled up on me and we just shot it that like same day, bro. Like, so before ASAP Ferg. Before ASAP Ferg. All right. <sighs> All right, look, I'm tired of like, okay, y'all, you see us working. Y'all see us working. But instead of paying homage, y'all just take the ideas. Like, I don't get it. Like, like put my Instagram name in the caption or something, like, inspired by, like, Y'all not just gonna keep on taking sauce, like you know what I'm saying? And and you know it's it was it it was all respect to those guys, but like, what can I do? Like, what do y'all want me to do? Like, I keep giving ideas, y'all keep taking it. Like, it's not the only time. Like, I'm not trying to sound like I'm the fucking genius of the world, but it's like, damn. As soon as I thought I found like a pocket, it's somebody that comes and takes the same idea. Like, y'all go, y'all go look it up. I don't want to give them too much clout, but y'all just go do the research and and figure it out, man, because. This is ridiculous. I, I can't really feel a certain type of way about it because they did it. I felt at home. So I was, <laughs> nah, man, it, it was what I was willing to do for the vision. You know what I'm saying? And not many people can do that because they're not aware of themselves. You know, they're hiding something about themselves or they feel insecure in themselves. And they, they're going to feel a certain, like a lot of people will feel a certain type of way if they put on that a wedding dress. But you know what I'm saying? I knew it was just a video and I knew I was representing somebody else and you couldn't take my, you know what I'm saying? Anything away from me by wearing that. But it was super dope, man. I'm just glad I got to uh, secure the vision before ASAP Ferg. Before ASAP Ferg. I just had to let that be known. Before ASAP Ferg. Bro, it was my first show. Um... That, it was just crazy and fucking case is still pending crazy but um <laughs> it's crazy i lucky forgot about it but um putting up flyers my whole team is out there we going to every college every college campus you know we just left miami day college campus putting up flyers for my first show of the year my headliner show giovanni x and friends and we get to winwood where is where there's plasters and graffiti and flyers everywhere and i know all the store owners so i'm going to the stores i'm putting up in their windows or whatever because that's where i came up that's where i made a name for myself in winwood so i'm putting it everywhere and then one store on the corner in front of koyo taco i'm putting up the flyer and the fucking cop on the pa like take it down so i'm like i look back i'm like Whatever, bro. I'll take it down. So I start taking it down. As I'm taking it down, he fucking is behind me with like his hand on his gun like this. Behind me. I'm like, why? Come on, guys. I'm like, before something starts, let's come on. Like, let's get out of here. He's like, where's your ID? I left it in the, like, I, it's in the car, bro. Like, I didn't come to, I didn't think I would get pulled over for what I'm doing right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or like, I didn't think I'd get harassed for what I'm doing right now. I didn't need it. 
And then he's like, oh, well, da-da-da, wait here. I'm like, guys, come on. Like, we out before we anything happens. Fucking ends up trying to, like, manhandle me. And, I, like, I can't really speak too much on it because I don't want to say, like, you know what I'm saying? Something that's going to make them be like, oh, so this is what, ha-. like, you, you, you got to see the video. Like, go check Miami Times or Miami New Times or whatever. It's, it, it went viral. Just go check it out, man. It's crazy. I feel like yeah. I mean, it was a part, it was a little bit of everything. I feel like because Miami is like a little like it's classist and a little racist, you know. Um, and the racism derives from the classism, but um, on top of that, it was just a it was just a um, what do they call it? Like a power trip. The cop was little. He was super little. I'm looking down on him talking. You know what I'm saying? He felt overpowered when I was respectfully talking to him. But he just felt overpowered, so he felt like he had to put his hands on me and take it somewhere that it wasn't so that he could feel secure in himself, you know? And it sucks. That goes with, you know, that's it's a balance in the world. If you know yourself, then the people that don't are going to try to go against the grain. And, like, it sucks that it happens like that. But, you know, like I said, I got more power from that so i'm not tripping anymore i just wanted off my uh record i was actually welcomed by the commission like a couple of the commissioners they like brought me out to events and like a lot of different uh lawyers and everything like that just speaking to me and you know so it was super dope to to actually come in contact with those people so literally they don't even know that cop that little guy that arrested me you gave me more clout and more power in the city. So, <laughs> like, you gave me more power by arresting me. Like, I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, yeah, man. Type away out now on YouTube. Stream it everywhere. My new single feature, my guy Russo, man. You know, Russo I brought on tour. Um, like, one of my first tours, I put him on a couple shows before that, and he was just started rapping, and I seen him come up, you know, and, and as a kid, you know, um, he put his money where his mouth is. A lot of people on my tour, sad to say, didn't didn't even attach themselves to anything that was brought to them, like the cameraman or the the different opportunities that was coming. But he actually put his money where his mouth is, and and that's why I mess with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. He's not signed to me, or he's not on my you know team or anything like that. But I definitely pay him homage for like just even you know um, just even you know owning up to the shit like you know like put it on for himself but yeah type away out everywhere featuring russo make sure you go get that apple music spotify youtube the video is out on youtube right now i got new music coming in october and we never know what happens in the future man make sure you follow me on instagram at giovanni x g-e-o-v-o-n-n-i-e-x you know we're gonna keep the ball rolling man shout out to the den you know we with it to the end society gang stand up